Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to share with you some mini grocery hauls. Okay, I did my big grocery shopping more at the beginning of the month. So these are smaller. I went to Whole Foods today. This I did not get at Whole Foods, though this is very yummy. It's coconut whipped cream. Um, I already had that, but I went to Whole Foods today. I never get to go to Whole Foods and we got a few things um, that I wanted to share with you guys. So one thing my kids already ate was they got some cookies. They got to pick out some cookies from their bakery section. We decided to try coconut. Let me know in the comments, have you ever tried coconut like this? I've never seen it for sale, like already cut out. So that was kind of fun. It, it's an interesting texture. Like I feel like it's, it's interesting. That's all, that's all I'll put it. I probably wouldn't buy it again, but it was really fun to try. Then they had a sale on these look like potatoes, but they're mangoes. Emma really loves mangoes. So we got five of them. A cucumber, I've been really liking cucumbers for lunches and things like that with, with the meal. And I got cold to like cucumbers, which is super exciting. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Have you guys ever tried this almond butter? So I do really like almond butter. I try to stick more with almond butter than with peanut butter and this kind i haven't had it for a while it's like so smooth i got this mainly for cold but i will probably eat it too it's a organic coconut yogurt um he tries to avoid dairy most of the time and this is like really thick and creamy he really enjoyed it so the way we make our yogurt i should do a video sometime of like a yogurt bowl i love having yogurt is um so this is one thing I've been trying to transition the kids to having more healthy options too, just in the last week or two. And I was buying them like regular yogurt. But if you look at the amount of sugar that is in even non-dairy regular yogurt, it's like 15 grams of sugar. And it's a lot of sugar in yogurt. And so the better option for us is to use plain yogurt and then we can use honey or stevia drops in the yogurt oh my god these for the kids they really like these this will be an easy dinner you know when you're out on busy days it's nice to have an easy option this i really want to show you guys let me know have you tried this deodorant and also is this a bunny my kids are like it's a bunny with big eyelashes i'm like i thought it was a deer with antlers i'm pretty sure it's a I don't know, we don't know. Hi guys, it's another day and I wanna show you everything I got in this big old box from Azure. So Azure is like, a, I don't know how to describe it other than like a co-op kind of natural food store. So you order things online and then there's a specific like drop, it's called a drop in your community where you go and pick up your items. It's like at someone's house a lot of times, I guess, maybe not always at someone's house, could be at a business or something. Um, so you order stuff online and then it's like one day a month that you go and you pick up, everybody goes and picks up their items. So it's an easier way, instead of them shipping everything out as people need it, you just go once a month. So I had done Azure like years ago and stopped doing it. And then I looked into it again because they have some good prices on natural food options. And it's kind of fun too to like what like keep adding things to my cart and then once a month go and pick it up. So I'm so excited to show you stuff. I've got some things I purchased before. So this is my second time recently doing Azure. I bought a few things that I know I will like, some things that I'm going to try. So let me show you them all first. I'm so excited for these beeswax candles. So I've been that is one transition I've been trying to make. I love candles and I know that they're not very healthy for you to just have the regular paraffin candles and beeswax smells so good. And I like having taper candles on the table and these were a really good price. You get oh, two, four, six of them. So I'm excited about that. Another thing I purchased was this. This is um, gluten-free. How do you say this? Mazzilli? Something like that. But I like yeah, putting the- Mazzilli. Cole says it's Mazz Mazzuli. I think it's Mousseli. I'm not sure. Anyways, it um, is great. We like it on top of yogurt. It has like dried fruit in it and oats and some seeds and stuff. And what's so great about it is if you look at the sugar contents, um, it only has one gram of added sugar in it. And for a lot of cereal, that's, that's a really good deal. 
for sugar contents. I got carob powder. So this is, what I'm gonna use this for is, this makes a great hot chocolate that's not chocolate, which chocolate is a triggering thing, I think for me with my acid reflex, as well as when you're trying to do, when I'm trying to kind of cut down on things that can cause more of that candida yeast. Growing chocolate is another thing I think you're supposed to kind of avoid. And I love making fudge with this. I'm gonna show you guys sometime, maybe on another video, how I make fudge with this. It's You keep it in the freezer and it's so good. So I'm really excited about that. I love the Stevia Drops by Sweet Leaf. And this is for the kids because they love root beer. And I thought I'm gonna get plain uh, sparkling water and then we'll get this and they can try it um, on top or on top in it. So it's root beer flavored stevia drops. It doesn't have any, you know, sugar, it's just stevia. So that's fun. We have vanilla already and we have, um, what's the other flavor we have? It's toffee and it's super good too. I got these big pickles. I don't know if I'm gonna like these or not. I The pickles I've been getting have like food dyes in it and stuff, which, Honestly, I'll probably still get for the kids that they like them, but I wanted to try a more natural option for pickles. Look at them. They look kind of creepy in here. At first I was like, I called my mom. I was like, is it supposed to be cloudy like this? Like I'm not used to pickle jars being cloudy, but it literally says on the lid, which I didn't see shake until cloudy. It says right there. So funny. Okay, so I got out these pickles to show you guys that I normally buy. I really should probably stop buying these. Look at the ingredients. Cucumbers, water, high fructose corn syrup, and then we got some other spices, blah, blah, blah. Sucralose, a not good artificial sweetener, but these are so yummy. We shall see. Should I taste one of these on camera? I'll taste one of these. Okay, the test, if I can even open this. Ah, oh no, it's all over me, dudes. Oh, I just went through all the effort to iron this and everything. Okay, we're off to a little bit of a rough start. Okay, I hope these taste better. Whoa, look at how big these are. I'm not used to eating something like this. Do you want to try with me, Emma? Emma come on over here. You want to try? Are you sure? I will observe. <laughs> Whoa, salty? Not bad. Manners. What are my bad manners? I think that what I would do is I would cut it in half or something, not eat this whole thing like this. We shall see. I think I would eat these. I think I would. Like when I make little platters of, well, we call it a platter, where it's like lunch meat and vegetables and chips and stuff. I think I would put maybe just half, like I said, half of this on there. Cheers to pickles. <laughs> Okay, next thing, I got some stevia gum. I tried this, it's good, it's pretty zingy at first. And some coconut, canned coconut milk. What else did I get? This is for Emma. I got some organic cream cheese for her. Okay, next thing is, if you want to get into trying goat cheese, which is a great alternative if you can't have dairy, is this brand called Bella Capra. They make really good cheese. I tried this first from our local health food store and I got it on Azure, which is nice. I don't have to go to the store. I can just go pick this up. Um, so this is a hard cheese. A lot of times goat cheese is like the soft cheese, but a hard cheese is a nice alternative. And then I also got two of these yogurts, goat yogurt. I got them last month for the first time to try. This time I bought two because what I like about this is, so I will still have regular like plain yogurt, but I wanna show you guys something. Regular like non-dairy yogurt literally has no um, protein in it. This has one gram, one gram of protein. So even though it doesn't have dairy in it and it doesn't have sugar in it, like I'll still have it. But what is so great about this one, the goat cheese one, or yeah, goat cheese, goat yogurt one is, it has 15 grams of sugar. Now it does have five grams of sugar, but it's not added sugar. It's just the sugar that is naturally in the goat milk. One thing I've been trying to learn is the difference between added sugar and total sugar content, because I think total sugar 
can um, is like everything that's in it. And then you want to look at the added sugar. That's what they put in it. I guess I didn't know that. You guys probably are like, I knew that, Molly. I knew, <laughs> I knew about that. Well, I didn't. I'm learning to read labels. And then I also got some multicolored popcorn for us um, to make our own popcorn. Popcorn is one of those things that is such a just a great treat, and it's kind of less of a guilt guilty treat because you know that it's not you can put in it whatever you want to put in it and it's um not sugary or anything that like that i got coconut oil which i do bake with um from time to time i just made waffles this morning for the kids and used coconut milk and then i also got the follow your heart um avocado oil veganaise so because I don't have eggs, that's why I get this. And I'm excited to make my mom's really yummy Thousand Island dressing that I can put on tacos and things like that. And I needed this dressing to be able to make it. I got these for the kids for sprouted wheat bagels. So we shall see if they like them or not. I was getting them like the really basic kind of cheapy bagels and I wanted to try something a little bit more healthy as I try to transition them into eating a little bit better with their choices. Hey guys, it's another day, it's Sunday, and I wanted to finish off this video by showing you, I bought multiple kinds of meat from Costco and I'm really excited about them. Some I have tried, some I haven't tried yet, but um, I'm trying to transition to organic meat when I can. Um, so I'll show you some of the options I got. We got these sausages that are, um, Paleo chicken breast sausages. And I guess these aren't necessarily organic, but they have no nitrates in them and they're really good. Emma and I like them, Cole's not a huge fan, but we love having sausages for breakfast and especially because I can't have eggs, sausages are a great option. Um, these came with a three pack, we're down to one left. Another thing I got were these, which we haven't tried yet, but they're beef smoked sausages that we could have like for a meal. Um, the kids would have it on a bun. I would not have it on a bun, probably, just to cut down on that. And then I, chicken is one of those things that I haven't, like, ever rarely bought organic. But I saw these, my friend was telling me about how they have organic chicken at Costco. And I feel like the price is actually pretty good. I've gone through one package, so it came as a set of four. Um, the price is $5.99 per, per pound, which to me was pretty good for chicken breast. And then lastly, these are probably not the most healthy. Whoa. Yes, they're wild caught salmon, but if you look at in the ingredients, there are some not great oils in it. But what I've been enjoying about these um, is that my lunches for work are made a lot easier when I just cook one of these up and have it ready to go for work. It's an easy, somewhat more healthy meal. It is wild caught salmon, but like I said, it does have some other oils and stuff in it that's probably not the best. Um, but they're yummy and it's nice to have those easy, quick options on hand for work. So those are the meat options I wanted to show you from Costco. I hadn't had a Costco membership for a while and I just start, started getting back into it and I'm excited to continue to shop at Costco and see what other great finds. I feel like they have some more healthy options that they didn't used to have. So those are the things I want to show you. My air fryer is running. We're getting lunch going. That's what you're hearing in the background. But I hope you guys enjoyed this grocery haul. Let me know if you end up trying any of the foods that I shared in this video. Or maybe you already love something that I shared in this video. I would love to know. And I'll see you guys in my video next week. Okay, bye guys.